All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem 10 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 10. So I wanna find the value of this. So for my solution, what I'm first gonna do is rewrite this as 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 20 equals over 20 to the power of 10. And I'm going to rewrite this as 10 to the power of 10 plus 10 over 20 to the power of 10. So I rewrote 20, my exponent here, as 10 plus 10. Now, the reason I did that is so I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So this is an important property of exponents. And I'm going to use this on 10 to the power of 10 plus 10. So now 10 to the power of 10 plus 10, that's going to turn into, we can think of both 10, but 10 as both m and n. So this turns into 10 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10, all over 20 to the power of 10. Now, this can be written as 10 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10 over 20 to the power of 10. All I did was I just grouped 10 to the power of 10 over 20 to the power of 10, because this way I can use the property a to the power of m over b to the power of m is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, this turns into 10 to the power of 10 times 10 over 20 to the power of 10, which is equal to 10 to the power of 10 times 1 half to the power of 10. And finally, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So this is going to turn into 10 times 1 half to the power of 10, which is equal to 5 to the power of 10. So if you liked the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and also share this with any friends or family. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation a squared minus b squared is equal to 49. So to solve this, I'm gonna use the property that states that if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. In this case, a squared minus b squared, a is x and b is y, so this turns into a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49. Now from here, I can rewrite 49 as seven times, or sorry, not seven, 49 times one. 49 is equal to 49 times one, so that's true. And this I can rewrite as seven times seven. Now, we obviously know that a plus b is going to be greater than a minus b. So keeping this in mind, this means that we can't, we can't rewrite a plus b times a minus b as 7 times 7, as 7 and 7 are equal. So this possibility is out of the way, and 49 times 1 is the only possibility here meaning we're going back to a, a plus b times a minus b is equal to 49 times 1. So because a plus b is greater than a minus b, we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to 1 because a minus b, 1 is less than 49 and a minus b is less than a plus b. And this is also in the form a number times a number. So 
And notice how this is equal to a number times another number. So we can say that a plus b is equal to 49 and a minus b is equal to one. So what we have here is a system of equations and I'm gonna add these system of equations. a plus a is 2a, b and negative b cancel out and 49 plus one is 50. So I get that 2a is equal to 50 and if I divide both sides by two, these two cancel out and I get a is equal to 25. Now that we know that a is equal to 25, remember how we said that a plus b is equal to 49. So this means that 25 plus b is equal to 49 and b is equal to 49 minus 25, which is 24. So a equals 25 and b equals 24.